Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, almost we are approaching the end of this webinar, but uh, one last and very important question, which I get to hear, and I get, I mean, I get many, many queries about this from freshers, uh, people who are like quite curious. Are AI job AI will eat all the jobs. What they will do? Will you lose your job? Like so much fear is there in the market. Like already software guys are having sleepless nights. Uh, but how about hardware industry? Like I, I, I from my opinion, I don't think uh, it would have a very immense impact on hardware industry. Uh, what is your take? Like uh, time to, you know, just uh, try to, I mean, uh, I mean, we can, uh, uh, you know, raise this awareness among people that, Hey, it's hardware. It's not that easy. Like <laughs> machines ko bana rahe, machine replace kar rahe. That's not a easy thing. So, Anubhav, what's your take on this? I think people should be worried. People should definitely be worried because uh, see what artificial intelligence did to software industry starting 1980s onwards is a very very profound impact uh, in the last 40 years. Okay, so the software industry as we know today is a very, very far off departure from what it was 40 years ago. And that is because of artificial intelligence. Now, artificial intelligence is everybody should know this is a buzzword for uh, fancy statistics. Okay, uh, so yeah, fancy statistics can change a lot of things. Now, fundamental difference that artificial intelligence is going to create VLSI industry is that it is good at math. It is better at math than many, many other people. And that is also its problem. And the best example that I can give you of an AI absolutely failing at digital design or even layout design is to just simply open the layout of Intel 8086 uh, uh, maybe not 8086, 8008, and try a PNR algorithm using an AI on it. And I, I can, I can give it to you in writing. It is not going to find the traps. It is definitely not going to find the traps. And uh, I would really, really commend uh, the genius of this man called Masatoshi Shima, who has designed that layout by hand and added a shitload of traps. Many of them are still not known. So yeah, AI is something that people should be worried about because it is going to fundamentally change the nature of how you do things. So maybe the nine month cycle of the Intel's uh, fa fabrication system that we are going to design something for nine months and then we're going to fabricate it for nine months and check post silicon validation. And by the end of 18 months, we are going to put a new device in the market. That may not be the case. Maybe it's going to be quicker. Who knows? Uh, maybe it is going to change the way we do, uh, let's say, PNR these days. PNR is something that is very, very fundamental to a chip. And by the way, the people who don't know, PNR is placement and routing. So if you have these small devices, let's say you have a two cross one AND gate, which has two inputs and one output, and you have a bunch of these things, how do you put it in a chip? Or, uh, uh, okay, let me make it easier for college kids to understand. Uh, so yeah, you have seven, four XX ICs. How do you put it on a breadboard in a way that every IC can connect to every other IC in all of the correct inputs and outputs? And how do you place the wires between them? That is placement and routing. So yeah, that is going to fundamentally and drastically change with the AI. Because it is going to be, I, I will, I would want to certainly want it to be a little better, but yeah, it can be either ways. It can be good. It can be bad. People's fear with AI should not be that our jobs are going to go. People's fear with AI should be, it is going to better. It, it is going to get better over time, which means that you need to upskill faster than a processing machine. 
which is having a lot lot more data than you have so yeah that is again uh, i think uh, uh, back to what we call the imitation game you know what i mean that is like uh, very cheeky <laughs> and some of you might be listening and they might be worried are you mean not this idea agar agar but uh, jokes apart uh, and definitely uh, ai uh, would be a game changer uh, so all of you jo thik se kaam nahi karte style analysis because uh, in the future nahi nahi is... i am actually i am actually optimistic about the people jo thik se kaam nahi karte <laughs> because these are these are the people who are going to give you interesting solutions and not the people jo theek se kaam karte hain because their their kaam is only going to be used to train ai models let me tell you that oh <laughs> that's a very good approach <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh, jokes apart uh, but anubhav says i absolutely agree with that uh, because ठीक से अगर काम नहीं करोगे तो कैसे फिर ए आई मॉडल्स को अपना जलवा दिखाने का मौका मिलेगा show that uh, people are not fearful from ai and they actually uh, learn from ai like like one day no, i would suggest are... be better than ai i mean god damn it you have you have a lot more neurons first and your neurons have a very very complicated activation so you are definitely better than an ai absolutely you are born as a human you definitely the most intelligent being in this planet so don't lose hope AI is made by you only, so don't be afraid from that. Uh, so it it cannot outsmart you. Uh, that is what I should say. <laughs> so, I mean, I I I would uh, slightly change this. I would I wouldn't say that it cannot outsmart you. I think AI can outsmart you, but it can only do so in a statistical, mathematical way. And uh, you see, sometimes. Uh, logical or engineering solutions don't really work sometimes you need to think different you need to think human 